Hey guys, I'm uh, back here with my uh, NES. I decided to uh, open it up and uh, take a look at the inside and uh, maybe try and clean the pins. Um, I don't, my mom doesn't have an emery board around, so she likes the metal nail filers better anyway, but I uh, guess I have to go buy one of those for an easy quick fix, but if there's any way I can just fix it like this, and I'm trying to, I'm taking that out uh, as you know, MNC said they weren't necessary, and they really aren't, because, you know, the Japanese Famicoms, uh, didn't have any metal plates in there, it was just all plastic, but, oh, well, except for the pins and stuff, and since, you know, the FCC or whatever, I heard this a million times, but, yeah, the FCC wanted them in there, because, I guess it's like it's a grounding board to ground any like elect electrical you know maybe they didn't want the thing exploding into flames but the NAS doesn't usually wouldn't do that because it's not a high powered machine really like I can expect the PlayStation 3 to burst into flames maybe because it uses more parts it's more complex maybe um, but the NES, you know, you just stick the carts in there and go, and, uh, yeah, because there's no moving discs or anything, so I wouldn't expect it to burst into flames unless, you know, but, um, like the dumbass that I am, I, uh, uh, let's see, I cut my finger, I don't know if you can see it, it's barely a little tiny cut. But I cut my finger, I'm trying to stop the bleeding, but I cut my finger on that part right there, uh, that metal part right there. I was trying to pull it out, and I'm not sure how you're supposed to pull this thing out. I'm afraid that, you know, with my luck and everything, that I'm really gonna, you know, break this thing. Um, you know, I've never, the only thing, the only time I've ever done this is if you've seen my other videos is with my uh, Dreamcast over there, um, except it wasn't that Dreamcast, it was the one that didn't work, and I was trying to uh, use that uh, tip that MN12 Bird use, uses on um, the, the, I don't know what it's called again, but if you look up Dreamcast on this channel, you'll find it, but it's a little thing that you turn with a screwdriver and it should make the disc more readable. But that, that Dreamcast that I have right now is in uh, the best, like, can it, it was fully boxed and everything, which I'm so proud of. It's like a prized possession, but anyways, besides that, um, the NES, um, I took that out with no problem. I'm trying to take that metal board out because I don't really want it to rust, and, you know, I just want to make the machine as light as possible. Uh, that way, you know, it'd be uh, better. But, um, I'm having trouble taking this out. It seems like it's, like, glued to it or something. It won't... Because on the back, it's got, like, these little... Something right there. It's stuck to this. But, I mean, I just want to take this part out. Uh, I guess that's the only part you're supposed to take out. Uh, now with one hand, because it's kind of hurts on the other hand, um... I don't want it to start bleeding again. I don't know if it's am bleeding, but, you know, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, you know, pull hard. I'm real afraid, because with my luck, it would break, so, um, yeah, and I'm probably going to get in there and, uh, clean those fins. I don't... I don't really have any ideas. Obviously, um, steel wool would work on the back part. Um, but the emery board would work on here. Maybe some cotton swabs. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, this thing is real. I think these are cool because they're so simple. I mean, like, uh, changing this is like changing a light bulb almost, but you're afraid to pull it apart 
Um, I am anyways. I mean, I've seen other people do it. It's like, oh, well, you know, they look like experts doing it. Um, this video is probably boring to you guys. Um, I'm also thinking about doing my own paint job MNC style. But it's not obviously going to be the same paint job because, you know, that would be lame. You have the same exact paint job. I'm not sure why it says it has a check in there. There's a check mark right there. Um, I mean, it has four, right? You can't see it, but it's like right under the check. There's a four embedded into the top of this. I don't know what that means at all. And yeah, but this is pretty good except for the yellow on the back. But I, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to keep it the same or paint it because that'd be real cool. Um, I really I want to paint this part red and leave these parts out, but just paint this red. I'm not sure if I have any paint or red uh, spray paint, um, but it'd be later on because I still got this to do. But yeah, that's just an update on my NES. I mean, it was work last night. It was I was playing Mario. It was working, and then the the blinking right the red light came on, and I know I can get in there and probably. Uh, there's the. I was told that. I don't know. Luke Moore said it was. I don't remember which one it was, but you're supposed to flip the board over and file the one part of it down and that takes out the uh the uh damn it I can't talk today it takes out the ten NES lock or NES ten lockout track whatever it's called um but yeah um this is a really boring ass video uh uh yeah I got dragon I was real happy I got Dragon Warrior to work on this, and it actually, yeah, it actually works. It doesn't work on the FC Twin because only certain copies. Yeah, you know, I really want to see if this thing works. You know, without without any top. I know it does, but I'm just gonna see if it. You know, just curious here. Put that in. Stupid PS3 is plugged in. I'm running out of time here. Let's see if I can get this in. It's probably the most exciting part because there's actually gameplay, maybe. And where's the power cord? I'm using the same power cord as the FC Twin because it looks the same and it, you know, it looks exactly the same. And I'm not, I'm wondering if that'll mess it up, but I'm not sure. Wow, it actually came on. Okay, cool. Okay, so it's the blinking red light. Wow. Yeah. I usually, when this happens, I just take the game out and... Sorry, I don't... The video is all... There it goes. See, it's working out. There's Dragon Warrior. Um... There's no control. I don't have a controller plug plugged in. But just check out that music, bro. Bros on the internet. That music is beautiful. I mean, it works, so that's cool. I love Dragon. But the thing is, like, okay, what? Well, I saved my game on this, and I think it might be the battery inside. But I don't know how to, what's it called? I don't know how to, 
what's damn it you know take the battery out and put it back in uh solder that that's the word I'm retarded anyway there you go dragon warrior uh see you guys later